Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today our topic is how to design solar PV system. To design solar PV system, we are going to do two steps. Number one, load. For which load we are going to design solar PV system, we must know its wattage. Number two, energy. The system we are going to design, we must know how much energy it will produce. Suppose a customer say, I need 20 to 25 units per day. We must know its wattage. One unit is equal to 1000 watt hour. In calculation and formulas, we are using watt hour instead of kilowatt hour. In solar PV system design, we are calculating three things. Number one, solar panel. Number two, inverter ratings. And number three, battery. For better understand, let's see an example. For example, we have a different appliances, motors, pan, bulb, TV, refrigerator, and we know its peak power, quantity, operating hours. When we calculate these all values, we have come two values. Number one, total wattage, and number two, energy or watt hour. So we have total actual watt is 1163 watt and total energy is 9186 watt hour. The actual load and energy is very important for calculation solar PV system. So first we calculate solar panel. The formula for solar panel is watt hour required at output multiplied by 1.3 divided by sun peak hours. What hour required at output means energy and we know that energy values. 1.3 is losses. It means not all the solar panel is 100% efficient. Mostly solar panel is 70 to 75% efficient. So 1.3 shows 30% losses. So we use 1.3 in formulas to calculate losses. Sun peak hours means from 9 am to 3 pm. This 6 hour time is average peak hour in every year. But we can also put 5 hours due to sun intensity. Now for the values in solar formula. 9186 multiplied by 1.3 divided by 5. The answer become as 2388 watts. We have different solar panels available in market so we select 340 watt solar panel the total solar watts divided by 340 watt so 2388 divided by 340 the answer become as 7 the total solar panel come as 77 quantity each one is 340 watt the number two calculation is inverter now we need to find inverter rating. So the inverter formula is peak load multiplied by 1.3. Put the value in the formula. 1163 multiplied by 1.3. The answer become as 1511 watts. But sometime 1511 watts inverter is not available in market. The best way to select 2000 watt inverter. Number 3 calculation is battery. Battery is the most important component for hybrid solar system. Now the battery formula is watt hour required at output multiplied by 1.3 multiplied by autonomous days divided by efficiency multiplied by DOD multiplied by V. Now we need to know autonomous days, efficiency, DOD and V. So number one is autonomous days. Autonomous days is a term which means we take a backup from the battery without charging. It means if there is no sun, no generator to charge the battery and still your battery gave you backup. You can take its in hour as well as in days. If customer not gave you out autonomous value, you can put value one in formula. Efficiency. Efficiency we know already given in data sheet, but normally we take 80%. DUD. Depth of discharge. Battery life depends upon on cycle. If we discharge the battery 100%, its life cycle is too short. 
The recommendation is 50 to 80 percent discharge. Number three is V. V means battery bank voltage. If you connect two batteries in series, you will take 24 volt. If you connect only one battery, then you will take 12 volt. And this voltage we know from the inverter data sheet. Mostly 2 kilowatts inverter has 24 volt system. So now put all the values in battery formula. 9186 multiplied by 1.3 multiplied by 1 divided by 0 0.8 multiplied by 0 0.8 multiplied by 24 11,900 put 1 divided by 15.36 the answer become is 777 ampere hour we have different ampere hour battery in market so we select 200 ampere hour battery now 777 divided by 200 the answer become is 4 we select 4 battery each battery has 200 ampere hour or 200 ah thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe my channel